Hey what's up guys Josh here. So in this video let me explain you how you can resolve this type of network issue in your windows laptop or pc in which the wifi icon just entirely disappears from the control panel. So I recently came across this issue and I sincerely thought that it was a software bug like before in which you know a couple of reboots just resolved the issue. But in my case now this time it didn't seem to be the one. So after trying to restart and applying a several techniques it didn't work so I was surfing through the internet trying to find a way to resolve this issue and I finally came across one that did resolve my issue and I also came across several other network issue solutions that I'm going to share in this video. So keep watching this video as I explain them one by one. So first of all what you're going to do is you're going to try running the windows troubleshooter. Uh, for that go to search bar and search for windows troubleshooter. Click on other troubleshooters. And here you're supposed to run this test that deals with network and internet. And after running this test, if the troubleshooter finds any issues regarding network, then it will update you, it will provide you with information and the necessary steps that you can take to resolve that, that particular issue. But in my case, as I have no issues with the internet right now, so I've resolved them already, I'm getting this window. Anyway, if that didn't work for you, then let's move on to the next technique in our list, which is to update or roll back the version of the Wi-Fi driver. To apply this technique, go to the search bar and search for device manager. And here look for network adapters and expand it. Here select your Wi-Fi driver. In my case, uh, my Wi-Fi driver is Realtek 8822 as you can see here. Right click on it and then click on update driver. Now here select the first option. And as you can see here, my Wi-Fi driver is up to date so I don't have to um, update it now. If the issue still persists, then I have to click on the second option and then select this option. Now here you can see a list of all the drivers, Wi-Fi drivers that are available in your PC. Select any one of these drivers from here and then click on next. Now what you're trying to achieve here is we are trying to revert back to a previous version of a Wi-Fi driver in case the new version of Wi-Fi driver is not properly working or is having some conflicts with our Windows configuration so that we can revert back to the previous version which was working fine. Now if this method didn't work for you then you can undo the updation by right clicking on the Wi-Fi driver and clicking on properties then go to this driver section and here you can see this rollback driver option enabled in case you have switched to a new version of Wi-Fi driver. Anyway if the above mentioned techniques didn't work for you then let's move on to the next technique in our list which is to go to the same device manager that we have discussed previously and then click on right click on the Wi-Fi driver and click on uninstall device. Now here you have to check this box and then click on uninstall. Now once you have successfully uninstalled the Wi-Fi driver, restart your windows and then see if the Wi-Fi driver issue has been resolved. If the issue still persists then let's try another method which is to go to the control panel here click on view network status and tags under the network and internet and here on the left panel click on change adapter settings and here look for your wi-fi adapter right click on it and click on disable now once you have disabled the wi-fi adapter you're gonna re-enable it now this is supposed to reconfigure the wi-fi adapter and maybe solve your issue now if you didn't solve your issue then don't worry we still have a couple of solutions left. For the next method go to the search bar and search for services. Click here. And in this list of services we are going to look for the services that are associated with the network and internet. So first of all we are going to look for the DHCP client and see if it's running. In my case, it's running. And if you want to, this is the one that's responsible for allocating IP addresses and for, uh, for the communication between different devices over network. So if this one is not running, then you gotta enable it by right clicking on it and clicking on start. Now, the next one that you're gonna look for is VLAN auto config then. And this service you see here is running my PC. So it's fine. If it isn't running, right click on it and then click on start which is disabled for me as it's already running. Now the VLAN config, auto config is the one responsible for automatically connecting your device to available Wi-Fi networks. And if you wonder, yes, you can also check if the other network associated services are running properly and you can try running them if any of the services that I'm highlighting here are not running in your windows. All right, now let's see what we have to do if the Wi-Fi icon 
entirely disappeared from our windows and in such cases if you go to the device manager and look for the wi-fi driver under network adapters you won't find any to solve this problem open a web browser and look for the driver of your laptop or pc specific model in my case i'm going to look for the asus stuff a15's network adapter i'm going to download it and once you download it you have to run it and then you may be required to restart your PC and then you are supposed to see the Wi-Fi icon back in your PC like I do. Anyways, if none of the aforementioned techniques worked for you and if you are so concerned about the network then I hope the last technique will work for you. Now this is what is known as a power flush. So in this method what you are going to essentially do is we are going to disconnect our laptop or PC from the power source entirely. And then we have to press the power button for 30 seconds continuously which is going to perform the so-called power flush if you're using a pc remove the power plug and if you're using a laptop if you cannot disconnect the laptop's battery if you don't know how to disconnect the laptop's battery then you can simply drain the laptop's battery to zero percent and then you can perform the power flush anyways that's it for this video guys i hope at least one of these works for you thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye